Welcome back everybody! So yeah, it's been a little while, a um, couple of weeks. I have planned to have the Japan video up by now, but that just has not happened at all yet. Um, I'm still digging through, there's just so many videos, I don't know what way I'm going to do it. So I thought I'd give you kind of some life advice slash some comedy this week. So uh, yeah, enjoy it. Gonna eat so many goddamn crumpets, it's gonna be a crump apocalypse. So, this week I want to talk about a hidden thing. That's, it's not so much hidden, everyone kind of knows it, but no one really mentions it. Um, and this video kind of is similar to one that Jenna Marbles did before. Um, but obviously this is my take on it. Um, we're going to talk about second puberty. Um, she talks about it, but of course she's a girl, so she has a completely different view on it than I have. But yeah, as a guy, I think, I think guys get a second puberty around 25. This is purely based on my own experiences. But as well as that, some of my friends and stuff like that as well. Um, I have noticed when I was 25, like up until then, I drank all the time, was having great crack on out, and it was all good fun, blah, blah. But when I hit 25, I kind of lost a bit of interest in it. And I don't think it's necessarily bad or good that I did. I think it's just your life kind of at 25 kind of changes a little bit. So like, one thing I noticed was at 25, you cannot eat junk food anymore. There's just not gonna happen. Um, and if you do, you're gonna need to balance it out or work it off. It's as simple as that. It's, it just doesn't happen anymore. I used to eat anything and absolutely everything and it'd be absolutely fine. I've never, and as soon as I hit 25, like I gained weight and was like, oh crap, or whatever. So I had to eat a bit healthier and to watch myself and stuff like that. So, um, that happens, of course, but then on top of that, your mindset kind of changes. Like you're no longer looking to go out and get drunk and hang around and be hungover all the time. And this obviously isn't for everyone, I'm just talking about overall. Um, I, I don't like clubbing anymore. I, I don't see the fascination about it. Um, I did when I was younger and I can just as easily have just as good night with the music in my house with my friends and stuff like that. So that's another thing changes, as well as, um, as well as gaining weight, I've actually noticed my body itself has actually naturally changed. So I have very, very, very broad shoulders now. I didn't have that before 25. I was broad, but I wasn't very, very broad. Um, up until 25, I look back now and I'm kind of going, I, I, I was almost anorexic. I actually wasn't, I ate all the time. Just naturally my frame was different. And then when I hit 25, all of a sudden my frame changed. I prefer my frame now. Um, just, I don't know, and then things like, you know, jobs like at 25 was actually where I kind of just turned around and went you know what I'm not doing any more shitty jobs I'm not doing I'm not suffering I'm not doing retail again I've never done retail and um, since about 25 which is only about two years ago but still I'm like I'm not doing it anymore like I can't I, I'm worth more than that and um, so the mind frame changed then as well and um, then I realized in my relationship that I just wanted different things like it wasn't even it wasn't anything bad or good it just was like I want to do this, or I want to go there, or this is how I want to do it, or you know, I don't find that important, I find this important. So I kind of found myself coming to 25. It took a while of a process to get there, but it started from about 25. And unfortunately, as you've probably seen a video ago, that I'm um, like single now, whatever, and that unfortunately is just part of the road. Um, so I don't know, second period, 25 for a second period, it, it's crazy, it really is. Um, you think differently, you look differently, you feel differently. Um, and like I'd had panic attacks for a while, whatever. And before 25, I only had them for about a year before I was 25, but I didn't have the time or the, the patience to, to stop and slow and actually figure out what I'm trying to do or how to try overcoming that stuff. And then I found once I was 25, I started taking them more seriously. And I started actually looking up, reading, researching, doing lots of different things and then rather than being on medication trying to come off them and stuff so like it's just it's bizarre there's, there's no way of explaining it and you think differently about friends as well like when I back like it's only two years it's, it's crazy it's only two years but I think back to I ha I could have easily had a house party with 50 odd friends um, whereas now I could have a house party and I'd have two or three and I much prefer the way it is. I have two or three extremely close friends who I share everything with, who don't judge me for anything, I don't judge them for anything. We talk about everything and anything, it's completely open. Whereas before, I'd have 
50 odd different really close friends as I thought at the time and most of them were flakes or didn't bother or you know would gossip and go around so I'm kind of going like I don't know what it was about that age but I have friends as well who are like yeah that was around the age where I copped on or I changed or I noticed that or did this or whatever and from a lot of my friends as well any health problems like minor to big seems to be 25 in and around 25 so your body just kind of starts going okay you're a little bit older now now you need to start managing this I can't be doing all the work for you so that's quite fun um, yeah I start then I had to start going to the gym and stuff like that and I was never a gym person before that I couldn't stand the gym but now that I, I have to do it to gain something from it I actually enjoy it then I started taking up traveling to a serious degree which I never did but like I did do travel before but it would always be kind of around Europe bits and pieces here now I'm like going everywhere and anywhere like last year obviously it was Bali as you've seen the video this year in Japan which I'm going to show you and then of course during the year I do smaller breaks and stuff like that but um, I just love traveling like and since I hit 25 I'm kind of going no I want to go and see as much of the world as possible before my day comes <laughs> which is uh, not a great thought but anyway um, so yeah I just think it's important to know about the, 20, the, the, the big 2-5. That was a big year for me. Um, like 28 is next, I don't really care for that. I'm not really going to care for 30. I'm like, it's going to happen, who cares? I mean, but 25 is a big one. Um, but the, the big thing that I think I'm trying to say to people about second puberty is your body literally changes. Like my body was really, really scrawny and thin and then all of a sudden I just went really broad and widened and everything. and. I had a bit of a fluctuation in weight as well, which like it's gone back down now, but the broadness, the change, it's just, it's bizarre. And then the mindset, um, how you think anymore is completely different. Um, my relationship then, it wasn't, it wasn't a hard relationship, it was a great relationship. I enjoyed um, pretty much 90% of the time of it. But unfortunately, the last two years, I was changed into a different person, and so was the other person. And that again, I think is due from your second puberty in life and unfortunately we just gone separate ways and we had to call it a day and that was it there was nothing hor horrible or horrid to it or any big drama there was nothing to it um, so it's just crazy it really is the, like and a lot of people I talk to are like yeah 25 is the year so I just thought I would share that I know I'm babbling on a bit but I'm literally as I'm saying it, I'm going it's ridiculous it's crazy and I actually think there's more of a change in your in your second puberty than your first. In your first, you're like, yeah, your body changes and stuff like that, whatever, that's fine. But that's really it. <laughs> your life doesn't change, you're still doing the same thing because you still have to go to school, you still have to, you know, you still hang around with all your friends, stuff like that. Um, you still have the same thing going on at home. So you, you don't really change or move. Whereas when you're 25, there's a lot more freedom and a lot more things you do to your, by yourself or, with other friends and stuff and it can constantly change and I've noticed the changes like I mean my social aspect would rather be hang out have a glass of wine or go meet a friend maybe in a pub or go for something grab a bite to eat or you know go I don't know to a park or something I don't want to go clubbing all the time anymore so that's completely changed I don't have a massive huge group of friends like I have to and I prefer that um, I love traveling more so like it's totally changed from what I was so in actual fact, the second puberty um, is a lot more life-changing than the puberty that everyone else knows. Um, it's yeah, it's just bizarre. So yeah, leave. The, it's just a random thought. I had to put up some video, and it was just a thing that came into my head that I've been thinking about for a while. And I said, why not share it? Um, let me know your thoughts on second puberty, as it may be, um, and what you experienced, or did you experience at a different age, or? Do you agree with some of the stuff? Do you not agree with some of the stuff? What changed for you? Anything like that? Link, um, put it down in the comments below. Um, because I always reply to my comments. I, lo I love getting comments. I don't know why. Even the bad ones. I'm like, yes, this is great. I got called a Jenna Marbles wannabe dickhead, which was kind of like that's like the most I don't know, like complimentary slag I've ever gotten. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. Hey. Um, and I wouldn't mind, it was on a video where I introduced Gong, Jenna Marbles did this video, I want to do it, so, and I've only done two, this one and that one, over two and a half, three years nearly, so I'm kind of gone, so it was funny, but anyway, as usual anyway guys, please link, like and subscribe, and I promise that next week Japan will be up, because I am nearly all the way through all the stuff, I might even get it up this week if I have nothing to do, 
fingers crossed. So thanks guys, bye bye! Thanks very much for watching guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos here as well.